was a great part of the map for them at the very, very end, but they still need to push it to the finish. Yep, just under 90 seconds now. Adetonian on that Reaper himself, trying to uh, pull off some of those amazing Death Blossoms that he's seen from Freed. But look at that, the oh. Earth Shatter combo. Twitty, five oh. kills to his name. Everyone was in that hallway, and Twitty just said, don't worry, guys, I got this. Oh, my goodness. Game of the play, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Saini is holding on to his Dragon Blade, looking for a chance. Won't well, be able to get great value while Sam Bear's love oh, is fading. Fun. He's moved to back lane, takes out Lucio. Too easy with the counter kill. It doesn't matter. Saini on a 5k, slicing and dicing everyone down from We United. He waited out most of the sound barrier, and it was great play coming out from the side of Sandy there. Both Seagull comes into the back line. Dragonblade on the way, looking for that kill. Gonna run into a Ooh. dead Oh, he gets the deflect! The double kill from Seagull! Trying to keep up alive here for LG. It's four kills for LG right now. Seagull makes it a triple in the end, and that is exactly what they needed. Reaver shot a little bit too early, and he paid the price. Uh, cutting back to the church now, you can see the offense kind of trailing behind. Waz actually getting picked off there by Clockwork. Great shot. Another yes. one onto Id, and Mezzer falls oh shortly after. AZK down as well. Clockwork on a rampage. And that's a problem now. Whether they think Artier should be doing a better job of stopping Ice Hill, I don't really know. But here we go. Next fight is underway. Creation is moving into the point. But the Graviton Surge is already out right wow. now. Ice Bell with the quad kill. Make it five. Just exploding all over. Oh, and there's the even a taunt the at the disrespect. end. I love oh it. my goodness. But here comes the last part from Rogue. They're getting on top of the point. One or two more picks will be at the last ditch. Sound Barrier comes out here from Cruz. Here comes the dead eye from AKM. Oh my goodness, what a brawl on top of the fight. Reunite is fighting for the lives right now, Joro, but it's not going to be enough as AKM moves in. Sound bear on the way. Does Reunited have this? Oh, Balu Taja tried so hard, but he got taken out by Deadeye from AKM. This is an all-out brawl. There's still two minutes available as well. They don't necessarily have to win it with this, but they're going to. Rogue takes the victory here, two to zero. Very good, wins with the double kill fall through, has a Graviton up, might not even need to use it. That's how much damage he did to set up Rogue for this fight. Wind still has Graviton Surge available. They don't even need to use it here, though, to secure the point. That was mostly on the back of AKM and the damage dealers once again. Wind's three and a half minutes. This is about as long as they defended for. So it really could come down to the last few seconds as they continue to push forward here. It takes like 10 seconds just for the doors, doors to open when they look to start moving again. But Unko and Wind's just moving forward, able to secure a couple of kills. That's going to give them a lot of breathing room to reach this corner. Lost Ice Felt in the beginning. It was 65, and they didn't even Graviton to win that fight. They just won it on pure mechanical skill. But here comes Graviton. Three people sucked in. Here comes Luminosity Gaming staying alive here. The Death Blossom out from Zany takes out three. Ice Felt with the fall through. And ladies and gentlemen, LG is fighting. They are staying alive. They'll end the map. Graviton comes out. Doesn't really get as much as he's looking for here from the Liquid side. That's going to be it. No one dying from that. The Transcendence already out. Sound already out. LG playing this really well. With Seagull moving in. Takes out AZK. Gods with the fall through. Seagull in the back still slicing dicing. Gets the double kill. Enigma fall through. And Kefri explodes! A quad kill from Kefri in the back! Denies LG! Five kills for Kefri! Oh my goodness! That is absolutely the breakthrough they were looking for. Chicken, where if you do your second sound barrier and no one dies, it's way better. But if you wait and someone dies, you've effectively lost the fight. So unfortunately for creation, that's oh, what happened. Huge. Here's the Graviton, the three-person Graviton. The Pulse Bomb comes in, sets them up for Sadie and Manitin to complete it. That's going to be three kills here from LG, and that might be the game. I'm not sure creation is going to be able to get back here in time to cause overtime. Luminosity battling back. Manitin said Linkser had the game of his life. Now it's my turn to really show off on Zarya. Sini with the Dragon Blade out forces Transcendence, but that's all the time they need to secure the point. That was a 100 to zero. Hopping to a Reaper would be a good idea here because our tier who normally has just phenomenal games on the creek. Not really doing that here, but here's oh a Graviton from the side. The Pulse Bomb moving in. The fall through from Ice Belt. That is a double kill. Ice Belt with the aid of Zarya sets them up. They are knocked down, and that is going to be LG's round once more as Creation is not going to be able to get back here in time. Here from the defense with Ice Belt. Striking first, takes out Robos. But Artier oh. from the back. The double kill from Artier. It is scrappy right now on both sides. But Creation, if they can get one or two more kills, it's going to be an Ice Belt at the end. The triple kill, Death Blossom. Sets up LG and they will get to the next point. Nothing worked out in Luminosity's favor. That's the first time the creation really, you can say that they had just uh, the better end of everything. Ice felt uh, now building up toward a Deadeye of his own, staying under the protection of that Reinhardt here, here, here in the high hallway. But Bromas teleporting in from behind actually gets in and gets a ton of kills. Now the follow up kill on Zenyatta should be assured, but no, Zave lives with just barely any HP, four HP to his name, stays alive. In the office's favor, Manitin, a full charge Zarya, just doing all sorts of damage on the payload and all the momentum right now in favor of Belgium.
And the, these trades right now are completely benefiting LG simply because it does not take as long for them to respawn and run back into the fight. So Melty will be temporarily playing a couple of people down while the rest of their roster gets back up. Now that said, it has been quite some time. We're going to see what happens in the re-engage here. Flippy going down very early on. And this is a really scary Zarya at the moment. A hundred charge means that Luminosity on an absolute tear. And more importantly, nobody from Melty is targeting him down right now. Yeah, Melty just needs to back up. This is a lost fight for sure. Once Manitin went in with that charge and got the McCree pick, that was going to be it. Flippy just got caught out. Too much time there, but the trickle defense ended up coming out. Dummy now just buying a little bit more time on Zenyatta. Can anybody else come to meet the points? Zenyatta goes down as well, and it looks like what? with Sound Barrier, this still going. So what? much damage getting put down here. This is what happens when you buy this much time. You just allow individual heroes to take so unbelievably long. Seagull's still oh, on oh this. Oh, no. What is happening? They bought so Clutch much time. Pooks. It started with Pooks. Lucio bought them 10, 20 seconds and then allowed everybody else to respawn and take this. There goes overtime. What? Three and a half meters short. Clutch, do not finish the map. This could get answered very heavily. The Graviton Surge does come in, though. Method is out for blood. They're looking for that born kill. They're not able to get it. However, due to that transcendence from nap time and the defense for now, looks like they're going to... Oh, oh, my God! Oh, oh. Are you the serious? The Diva Bomb! Nerf this! Oh, Oh, God. everything was looking good until that explosion. It got Hagen. the turret, too. And they just... They don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, man. I need to I, see that one more time. That... Because it is weird to see that many people get caught by a Diva ult. I mean, maybe it's just the greatest Diva ult of all time. Okay, we're going to the... Okay. It, it, okay. It's above them. No, that looked good. That uh, looked yeah, right I, to me. I think Nothing that was legitimate. I, that. I don't think they were LOS. Might be wrong. Wow. I mean, I want to trust the players a little bit, but maybe sometimes you get bopped by a gigantic default. Esports. Yeah, I mean, that was a good throw. It went <laughs> right behind the Reinhardt shield from our perspective.